Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing the Apple navigation menu and we have already designed the desktop navigation and this is the mobile version and this is our progress as of now. Now in this video, we will design the search form and also the quick links over here. So let's get started. Now this is the HTML of our website and if you scroll down, we can see that there is already a division called search container and in that we have the search bar and also the quick links. Now this is the search form and the quick links that we designed for the desktop version. Now even for the mobile version, we have almost the same kind of markup. So if you go to the Apple website, we can see that uh, we have this uh, search icon over here and then we have the search form. And if I click on that, we can see on the right we have the cancel button. So here in place of the link close, we need to have the cancel button. Now there are two ways to design this. You can use this uh, same search container division over here for the mobile version. But for that you have to add one more class over here. For example, we can name it mobile show or something like that. And uh, then you have to remove this hide class from here and uh, add this mobile show class over here. And it can be a little confusing for us to design it using the same division that we have for the desktop version. So what we're going to do is we'll just copy this and uh, we will paste it over here once more and for this we will give a class name of mobile search container now this will make it easier for us so let's remove this hide class from here and uh, we're going to use this mobile search container as the search container for the mobile version so let's go back to our website and here we can see we already have the search form and the quick links displayed over here now we need to remove this uh, link close from here because uh, it is the close icon over here. So we don't want the close icon. We want this uh, cancel button over here. So let's go over here and let's delete this division from here. So here we'll create a span and we'll give it a class of cancel button. And here I'll just type cancel. Alright, so we have created the cancel button and everything else will be as it is. Alright, so let's go to style.css and uh, let's start styling it. First of all, we will style the search form. So let's just hide the quick links for now. So I'll just type quick links over here. And here I'll just target the quick links. So I'll just type mobile search container. And I'll type quick links. And I'll just set the display to none. Alright, so now let's start styling the search container. So here I'll just type search box. Alright, so now let's style the input field. So I'll just type mobile search container input. And uh, let's set the width to 100%. And uh, we will set a padding of 12 pixels top and bottom and 8 pixels left and right. Let's set the font family to enter. And uh, we'll also set the font size to 17 pixels. Now let's set the background color of 1B, 1B, 1B. And we'll also remove the border. So I'll just type border 0. And we'll set the color of the text to white. Now let's have rounded corners, so I'll just type border radius and we'll set it to 8 pixels. And when we click on this input field, we can see there is an outline. So let's remove that as well. So I'll just type outline, none. Now when we click on this, we don't have the outline. And I think for left and right, we need to have more padding. So I'll just replace 8 with let's say 36 pixels. Alright, now let's position this search icon on the left of uh, the search bar. So Let's target the container division. So here we can see we have this uh, division with the class of mobile search container. And in that we have the link search, the search bar and also the cancel button. So let's go over here and let's type mobile search container and we'll set the position to relative. And now we can set the position of this icon to absolute. So let's do that. We'll just type mobile search container link search and let's set the position to absolute. And we'll also give a padding left and right to this uh, mobile search container. So here I'll just type padding 0 for top and bottom. And for left and right, we will have 16 pixels of padding. All right, now for the left position, we will type 24 pixels. And we'll set the opacity to 0 0.5. And let's set the background size to 15 pixels. And I think that's it with the search icon. All right, now let's add some more styles to the mobile search container. So let's add a margin top of 10 pixels and we'll also give it a border bottom. And let's set it to one pixel solid 616161. All right, that's it with the search form. Now let's style the quick links. 
So if you go to the Apple website and if I click on the search input field, we can see the quick links are being displayed over here. But we can also see that these two icons over here also move up. So we also have to style that. So for that we will add a class called move up to the nav. So let's go to the index.html file and let's go over here to the nav and here we'll just add a class called move up and now let's style the move up class. So here I'll just type nav move up. So let's type nav container nav dot move up and we will set a margin top of uh, negative 40 pixels and here we can see that our icons have moved up. Now when we click on the search input field we also have this cancel button displayed over here at the right. So we will also add a class called active to the search bar. So let's go back to our index.html and uh, let's go to the search bar and here we will add a class called active. So when we have the active class we want to display the cancel button on the right. Now first of all let's see where is the cancel button. So let's right click over here and inspect and uh, let's see where is the cancel button. So this is the cancel button and we can see that it is below the search input field. Now we have to bring these two elements side by side. So for that we have to change the display of the parent container to flex. The parent container is the mobile search container. So let's add a display of flex. So here I'll just type display of flex. Now the cancel button is on the right. And now we also need to add some spacing below this uh, search form. So here we will type padding bottom and we will type 16 pixels. All right now let's style the cancel button. So here I'll just type cancel button and we'll type mobile search container cancel btn and let's set the color of the text to 2997ff. Now we want it to be centered vertically so let's go back to the container division. And uh, here we'll also type align items to the center. All right, let's go back to the cancel button and uh, let's set the font size to 17 pixels. And we'll set a padding of zero pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right. All right now let's make the input field take up the maximum width it can. So right now we can see if we give a background color to the cancel button, we can see that there's some space here to the right and the input field is not taking up that width. So for that let's target the search form. So I'll just type mobile search container and here we can see there are three elements the link search, the search bar and also the cancel button. So we'll target the search bar and there's a property called flex and we can set a value for the flex. So if you type flex one for one of these elements and for all the other elements if you don't have any value of flex then this element will take up as much width as it can. So let's save it. And now we can see that it has the correct width. So let's remove this background color. Let's also add some more styles to this cancel button. So we'll set the font weight to 400 and we'll also set the cursor to pointer. All right, now let's style the quick links. Now here we can see in the Apple website, when we click on this input field, these menu items move down and uh, it just disappears. So for that, we will add a class called move down to the desktop nav. And when we have the move down class for the desktop nav, we will move it down and we'll also set the opacity of the menu items to zero. So let's go over here and uh, let's add a comment. So I'll just type desktop nav move down. And here we'll just type nav desktop nav dot move down. And when we have the move down class for the desktop nav, we will move all these items down a little bit. So let's type li and we'll target the first child. And here we'll just type margin top of 150 pixels. Alright, let's add the move down class to the desktop now. So here we'll just add a class called move down. And now we can see that all the elements have moved down. Now let's also add opacity of zero. So let's type nav desktop nav dot move down li and we'll just type opacity of zero and we'll also set the pointer events to none so that no one can click on that. All right now let's style the quick links. So let's type a comment quick links and I think we have already added a style over here. So let's just cut this from here and we'll paste it down here and here we have already set the display to none. So let's remove it. All right, now we can see that the quick links are displayed over here. First of all let's set the position to absolute. Now let's set the top position to 80 pixels and uh, let's set the left position to 0, right position to 0 
so that it will have the full width and let's set a padding of 0, 32 pixels. All right, now let's style the unordered list. So let's type mobile search container, quick links, ul, and we'll set the width to 100%. And we will remove the bullets. So I'll just type list style, and we'll set it to none. And now let's style the h2. So let's type mobile search container, quick links, h2. So here you can see in the index.html, we have this h2 called quick links. So let's style that. We'll set the color of the text to 86868B and uh, we will set the font size to 12 pixels and I will set the text transform to uppercase and let's set the font weight to 400. All right now let's style the anchor tags. So let's type mobile search container quick links ULLIA and let's set a padding of 16 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right and uh, the padding is not being applied that's because uh, these anchor tags are inline elements so let's change it to display of inline block right now let's remove the underline so let's type text decoration to none let's set the color of the text to white let's set the font size to 14 pixels and we'll set the font weight to 400 we'll also add a border bottom of 1 pixel solid 61661 and we need to set the width to 100%. All right, that's it with the search form and the quick links. In the next video, we will see how to animate everything. And we'll also use some JavaScript to make it interactive. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.